Will I ever take Shell out for sushi? Uh, ish? Okay, now, now we can actually hang out with Ryuji. Because now we actually got the Persona for it. I can and will take out uh, Shell for sushi very occasionally. It's just generally I'd rather take her out for like Thai food and stuff like that. Because you actually get like enough food to fill yourself with Thai food. Sushi is always just so expensive. Man, I'm stuffed. Pretty damn good, huh? This one's on me. Don't expect it to happen too often, though. Mm -hmm. Wait, where's my wallet? Eh, whatever. Hey. Oh, by the way, I got a text from Takeshi. He said the track team's gonna try and ditch Yamauchi. They want to start practicing without him. They're trying to get their old coach back, too. The one before Kamashita. Looks like they're finally walking their own path. Uh, let's see, let me... I cannot believe I have not finished Ryuji off. I've had him since the beginning of the game, and I've just been lazy. Where are we? Okay, here we go. Are you satisfied now? Hmm? Yeah, I guess so. Actually. Oh, and, uh, they asked me to come back to the team. I'll do it. Dude, I wasn't gonna. It felt kind of bad, but that's not where I belong now. When you first came to Shuchin, people were talking so much shit about you, but you took it in stride. You just did whatever you thought was cool and didn't care what other people said about you. I think that's why people kind of got pulled towards you, man. Whatever, wherever you decide to be, that's where you belong. Never realized that. Hmm? Seriously? You know, back before I met you, I kept making excuses for why I couldn't fit in. It was always because of someone else, Kamashita, the track team, hell, I even blamed my dad. <sighs> He was just a freaking loser. But I've realized now, as long as I'm being myself, I'll always have somewhere I can fit in. It ain't really the same place as before, but it's damn good. I'm just glad I found it. But where is this place? I agree. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, man. There's a place for you here, too. Right next to me, or maybe ahead, and something like that. And now we have to pay for it. But yeah, I'd love to eat sushi more often. This is just always the priciest thing to eat. All right. I ain't gonna stop training though. I still got a long way to go. Someday I'm gonna show you speed so light and fast you're not even gonna be able to see me. Wait, but if you can't see me, am I really showing you anything? Eh, whatever. I think we've been talking too long. We're all out of manja. Hmm. Wanna try grilling some toothpicks? Wanna head back? Let's head home. Yeah, you gotta find an all-you-can-eat sushi place. Yeah, I guess that would do it. Uh, I just don't know of any. 20 bucks is still pricey, but it's at least reasonable. Hmm, father's been acting a little odd lately. He's been cooped up in his study. His voice lacks energy. That actually sounds quite similar to what Madarame went through. And Madarame still had a change of heart in the end. Don't worry, Haru. Is that so? Oh, my apologies. I don't mean to doubt you or anything. Nobody was accusing you of that. People just act weird after their treasure gets stolen. It'd be hard not to worry about such a sudden shift. It'll be okay, Haru. Right. Hmm. I feel better after consulting with you all. Thank you. Looks like this Orkomura case is finally gonna have a happy ending. All that we can, all we have to do now is wait for his change of heart. That is bad. That is that is bad. Bad. Foreshadowing. Oh, boy. All right. Hey, we can go hang out with Oya. Uh, Crossroads. I think that's the one. Uh, let's see. The same stuff. What was his heart? Uh, it was a power core, which was kind of boring. His his heart was lame. Hey. Let's see. Kaio's case. Got a minute. Pazuzu. Yeah, if we can max out Oya, that would be Thanks. great. Though... One, I don't know if this is the last one or not. Hey! I went to see Kayo the other day. She's gotten so skinny, she looked like a stranger. She wouldn't say anything to me. Oh, she wouldn't say anything e either. I think she had a mental shutdown, is it called? 
Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I was expecting it to be bad, but it was still pretty jarring to see her in person. Her doctor said they found her collapsed in the street just about a year ago now. She'd been wandering along the coast without any belongings, so the director's wife took her in. Is there any hope for recovery? All we can do is pray. Either way, Kaio is still a suspect, so bringing her back here would just put her in danger again. So we'll never know what happened with that bureaucrat. Not necessarily. I have her hair clip. It looks like an ordinary accessory, but it actually has a miniature camera built inside. Remember that voicemail where she said she had something big? Well, it was all in the hair clip. So then... It was a picture of the bureaucrat's secret meeting. The other party must be the one behind the slush fund. And that other party... It was one of Shido's confidants. Shido? You mean the politician? I can't believe someone close to him would be so horrible. Yep, it's pretty clear that that confidant was blackmailing the bureaucrat and killed him for not paying up. Kaio must have managed to escape, but then ended up suffering a mental shutdown somehow. I'm not sure how that could possibly cause something... I, I'm not sure what could possibly cause something like that, though. In any case, maybe that's why they decided to leave her alive. Heh. <laughs> They underestimated her journalistic talent. That's an amazing story. It'll be a huge scoop if you're right. But given the current situation, it's going to be difficult to write an article about it. I wouldn't have Kaio's testimony, and even if I did, I wouldn't be able to corroborate her story. I'd get crushed if I tried to take them on without being fully prepared. Uh, you're not giving up, are you? Who do you think I am? I'm going to do whatever it takes to pursue the truth. I said I need to be fully prepared, didn't I? It'll just take a while. So then... I've resigned myself to a long battle anyway. I have her photo, now I gotta get some solid evidence and lay the groundwork to prove her innocence. I'm gonna avenge Kayo. Well then, our deal's over. It'll be too dangerous for you to stick around from here onward. You understand, right? The opposition won't think twice about taking down anyone in their way. I'm sure I'll get targeted, so to be safe, you shouldn't come here again. I want to help. Are you serious? You must have nerves of steel. Jeez, you're really never honest with yourself, Ichiko-chan. You're not going to find anyone else who listens to you as encouragingly as this guy. You know that, right? It's going to be a long battle against a tough enemy. You should have him by your side through it. What? Wait, it's not like that. Uh-huh. Sure. And what about you, kid? You're not afraid to face the danger ahead, are you? Uh, of course not. Fine. If you're sticking your nose in this of your own free will, then there's nothing I can do. I'll solve this case on my own, but I appreciate having a friend who's got my back. <laughs> Alright, then. Let's have a kickoff party. I'm gonna pour down some Don Perignon, just for you. We don't care that. Carry that. There's some generic stuff in the back, though. Oh, and I'll grab an oolong tea for the kid. Man, lamest kickoff party ever. I guess the booze doesn't matter, though. It's all about the company. Alright, all right, rank 9. I'll go chill a bottle. Be back in a bit. Hey, hey! Hey, so why do you do th so much for me? I know at first it was for the articles, but you don't have any obligation to stay now, you know. Oh, I know. Did you take me seriously when I told you told the chief we were a couple? Jeez, you kids are today are so naive. That couple act. I did not take it seriously. Uh, of course, thank goodness. It would have been way too much trouble to be with a minor. What's taking Lala Chan so long? What's with the heat? I mean, don't you think it's hot in here? Oh, this heat is making me tired. See you later. Bye. I think Lala is female wander. Yeah? So? You have a problem with my, my wonderful voice acting? Mostly I just do it because it's funny. I always have to do it for one character in a series and Lala was just way too perfect. Maybe offensively so, but I don't know. Anyway. So that was that. Uh, so we can up Ryuji again, potentially max, uh, max uh, we do have Shinya, but I haven't messed with Shinya much. Uh, I'm leaning for Ryuji just because if we can actually finish off Ryuji, that would be, like, super wonderful. 
Oh, right. I haven't checked the plant in a while. Oh, well, probably doesn't matter too much. At this point, I mostly just want to finish the game. Let's train. Okay, so I think this is the, the last thing that we ever have to do with Ryuji, which is great. a perfect way to refill after some training. By the way, the track team's up and running again. Yamauchi got taken down pretty quick. You know Takeishi's mom is the PTA press, right? He told her everything. After that, she came storming in with the other parents and forbid the whole scouting plan. Oh, wish I could have seen the look on Yamauchi's face. <laughs> I mean, the school can't ignore the PTA. And as a result, the track team's back. Our old coach is filling in for now. Man, it serves that dick right. <laughs> what a great feeling. I think they might even go far in the meet. I'm looking forward to it. Or no, we can't lose either. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh crap, the ramen's gonna get soggy. Let's eat. Woo, <laughs> that was awesome. To tell the truth, I was scared of facing those guys straight up. I, I couldn't stand how much they hated me. It only just made me think of how stupid I was. Most of all, it made me remember how I lost my place with him. Hey, this ain't like me, but I managed to change because you were here helping me. I got you all wrapped up in this shit, but you stayed with me till the bitter end. You didn't abandon me, so... Thanks, man. Let's see. It's all because of you. <laughs> it's funny, huh? This started out as us training for the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> How'd it end up like this? Either way, it's my turn now. If anything comes up, you tell me. I'll help you with whatever you need. You feel a strong bond with Ryuji. Oh, shit! Ryuji's evolving. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the chariot, granting thee infinite power. All right, so second awakening. What do we get? All right. All right. See you. All right. Uh, bless you. All right. So instead of the boat surfer, we get. I was almost hoping it would just be. Oh, the fuck. Oh, okay. Good. My new power. All right. Okay. Ryuji's persona, Cat and Kid, has transformed into Satan T Taisei, or something like that. It looked like he was surfing for a brain for a second, and it was super confusing. I thought that was a brain. All right, now I have that off my chest. Let's do this. First up, the Phantom Thieves. I'll be counting on you, leader, and you can count on me too. Hey, now that we're all fueled up, want to race to the station? Alright, so we now have Evade Wind, which we get instead of... Man, I don't even know. Well, we could get rid of Headbutt. Yeah, let's get rid of Headbutt. Okay, he looks a little bit better outside of the cutscene, but yeah, it looked like it was some weird dude surfing on a brain, and it was really confusing. Uh. Father was cooped up in his study again today. His reaction was quite vague when I spoke to him, too. Is that what normally happens? Madarami was in a similar state after he changed his heart. It'll be okay. Don't worry. All we have to do is wait. You're right. I just have to believe it's gonna work. Thank you, and sorry for asking so many times. I'll message you again if there's more progress. I get why Haru is worried, but let's wait for the change of heart to go through. Don't worry. It'll be just like it always is. Oh, foreshadowing. That is super foreshadowing real hard. Okay, let's check the plant, because it's probably plant time. Oh. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna max out max up any of my social uh, the rest of my social stats, but hopefully I won't need to. We'll see. But yeah, it is a little bit uh, bizarre that we're always we're always talking about the Phantom Thieves with Ryuji right out in public, like where anybody can hear us. It's very weird. Good evening. Good evening. I am intruding on your home once again. My apologies for spending so much time here. It's just such a calming place for me. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Thank you. Regardless, it's time for me to leave. One more thing. I heard a calling card has finally been sent. If the rumors of internal affairs at Okamura Foods are true, the president should be, uh, should surely be judged. However, it should be up to the government or police to do so. This is an unfortunate situation. I must I'll be go going now. The coffee was delicious. Alright, and who do we hang out with? Who can we hang out with? So, Kawakami's maxed out. EY, nothing there. Ah, Hifumi. I have not worked on her yet, though we're going to hit a wall with Hifumi shortly, I believe, which kind of sucks. I don't actually know what her rank with her is. It's, uh, mm, well, whatever. Good evening. I traveled overseas for a school trip. The weather was really nice there. It's still so hot here in Japan. Oh, let's see. I am on the... How am I on the wrong month? I don't even know how this happened. Oh, right. I know what I was doing. Okay. Um, do you have some time today? I'd like to request a match with you. Yeah, it's the same stuff. Hang out with her. Thank you very much. Check. Haha, <laughs> you've been defeated. The battlefield is mine. The ultimate Togo Kingdom is complete. All of my pieces have been taken. Hufumi has left me utterly defeated. But to think you could stay standing after being struck by my Silver Infinity Sword. You've improved considering that you've endured the climbing uh, the climbing silver so early in the match. The determination I'm sensing from you is a real inspiration. I must think of a new move. I'm afraid you'll surpass me one day if I don't stay sharp. Actually, the exhibition match against the pro my mother was talking about has been confirmed. He's a very famous shogi player. I'm aiming to be the first woman to reach the pro ranking league. I'm sure it'll draw a lot of attention, especially after that article. However, I don't intend to lose. This is my chance to display my true skills. I confess, I am a bit scared though. All right, uh, let's see, star. It may come down to luck. <laughs> You're right. However, that also means I have a chance of winning even though my opponent is a rank is ranked higher. To be honest, I'm not sure how well my skills will hold up against a true professional. Right. But I'm sick of being treated like an idol. I have to show them what I'm made of. Uh, it's, I believe in you. Thank you. So, um, there's a move I want to try out. Would you like to play another match? Thank you very much. Strategically, place your pieces in the enemy's zone to increase your chances of getting gold. Be sure to use that tactic in your next match. For today, try and steal the pieces you want from me. Wander, romance the chocolate fountain. Mm. Earn double money if the battle is won in one turn after a successful ambush. All right. Oh, this is actually kind of handy. Well then, let's begin the match. I hereby place this golden mantle upon your shoulders. Don it with pride. Awesome. Come, lightning metamorphosis, gold promotion. Well. Thank you for today. Thank you for the match. I look forward to our next one. Well, <laughs> We're getting close to finishing her off. What do we got here? Want to go to Dome Town? Earlier I got some info I can't turn a blind eye to. I got us two passes. Want to go check it out tomorrow? Uh, Dome Town with Mishima. Probably. We're super close to finishing Mishima off though. Well, what else What else would we do with ourselves? I will think. So tomorrow is Sunday. So, my guide says, oh, yeah. Sure, let's probably hang out with uh, Mishima. Why does no one but you sleep? Eh. Anyway, yeah, we'll do a uh, dome town with him, and hopefully we can finish off Mishima pretty quick. I think we're at 9 out of 10. I probably should have just said no. 
oh well, not the end of the world. Um, but yeah, this would be, this is the part where my my guide says to go invade the uh, the dungeon. But I am off script. Um. According to my intel, there's a cheater who frequents this arcade. He gets his opponent to bet money, and then he cheats to win it all. Hey. Oh, Star Sound, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm taking a breather. A breather? Oh, that sounds so cool. Man, that's so good. Perfect for a superhero. Huh? Superhero? Yeah. We want to do something about the cheater who comes here. Cheater? Oh, maybe it was that guy I just beat. I handed his ass to him, and he ran home crying. I was rusty at first since it wasn't gun about, but it was easy once I got the hang of it. What? what Really? But you're just a kid. So what? Age is irrelevant. So, uh, you know, I've seen your face somewhere before. Oh, are you Shinya Oda, the gaming prodigy? Pro prodigy? Don't address me without an honorific. Who are you, anyway? You don't remember me? We fought one time in a tournament. It's me, Mi Mishiman. I don't remember. I fought way too many people. You'd only s stick in my memory if you were someone special. Wow, you really are the king. <laughs> the way you talk sounds so cool. Who is this guy? Your friend? Eh, more or less. What's that supposed to mean? We are friends. Hey. Star Sand, do you have time to? Uh, do you have some spare time? Want to check out the theme park? There's no gun about here, and I'm getting annoyed with all the people watching me. Let's go. Hey, um... Can he join us? Yeah, yeah, you can come along. <laughs> wow, so kind. I knew the king had a big heart. Hell yeah. yeah. Going to the theme park with two children. That's not weird in the slightest. Okay, so it's Sunday evening, and we have stuff to do. Uh, Specifically, we've got juice! Guts. Then after this, what do we do? do yeah, so my my 2.5 million should be enough to last me the rest of the game, even at this uh, at this rate of spending. Okay, so what do we do? Watch as he ranks two people. It'd be hilarious if you could actually rank them up that way. I almost kind of wish that this game worked off of that, that the levels were just based off of like an experience bar, uh, and you could just kind of freely hang out with people. Okay, so she's not available. Ewa, Ewa is around. Ugh, I was really hoping there would be more people to hang out with, but... Well, let's go up here, the red light district. We want to go... Um... We want to go to Chihaya. Let's do a fortune reading. What shall we do? Affinity reading. Uh, Sojiro Sakura. I'm just going to abuse that as much as I possibly can. Here we go. Cuz yeah, we want to we want to speed up so we don't have to hang out with these guys if if at all possible. Cuz I do want to finish off uh, Sojiro's plotline. We'll be cutting it a little bit close just because of the timing, but don't really have much of a choice. Probably should have actually done EY, but whatever. Question, does no one question your unchecked massive amounts of income? Yeah, nobody seems to give a shit about it, except for EY. Uh, EY is the only one that gets kind of confused about why the hell I have... Oh, a good 77,000. That's $700 worth of robot arms, radar antennas, broken telescopes, dead solar panels, warped wheels, opals, emeralds. Today. Like, what kind of child carries this shit around? The answer is none. None should, but we do. Uh, come again. Okay. Anyway, let's What's hang up? out with Ey. Hmm. I gotta find that. Uh, find somewhere that ain't so popular. This area is marked. Uh, let's do some work around the shop then. Invite him to Inokashira Park. Inokashira Park, huh? That's <laughs> yeah, not bad. Come with me to check it out. Mm hmm, not bad. Easy to get here. There's a lot of open space. Yeah, this'll do. Thanks for telling me about it. What are you gonna do? Yeah. Uh, well, 
Uh, see, I wanna... I wanna give a student who's preparing for the high school entrance exams a chance to relax. Either way, thanks for today. Look. I'll continue being flexible with our deal. Make sure you keep being useful for me, alright? Man, there's so much nature here. It must be really peaceful during the day. But it's places like this where you're most likely to run into trouble. So, just be careful. I remember him playing with someone like this. I think it was a duck, though. Anyway, you ought to hold on to it, for future purposes and all. We got a swan boat. What? Later. See you, kid. What? What? Uh, who could that be at this hour? I found an awesome magazine. I'll bring it to the hideout. You have tomorrow off for health and sports day, right? It'll definitely get your adrenaline pumping. I really want to read it, but I'll wait till tomorrow. See ya! I guess Futaba's coming here to show us a magazine tomorrow. It sounds like fun, but I'm going to bed. Did he just rip a giant fucking swan boat out of the water and put it in your pocket? Yup! I cannot wait to put it in my room and be hella confused about it. Okay, we did get juice, so I think we're good. Alright, we're coming up on, uh... Hey, hey dude, Futaba's down here in the shop. I kind of wish I could actually hang out with Futaba and Sojiro, but no dice. Okay. Let's put in the swan boat. Oh, it's a miniature swan boat. Okay. I was kind of confused about that. I was hoping there would just be a giant goddamn swan boat in the corner. Ah. I should write something. Ah. Whatever. Yeah, that could have gotten wonderfully weird. Instead, kind of boring. Okay, so we have Takemi, uh, Ryuji. Didn't I already spend time with Takemi? We might have to spend... N mm. Oh, we can hang out with Shinya. Yeah, I want to max him, because if I can use Chihaya... Uh, to boost the other characters, then that's a little bit more useful for me. Okay. Hey. Let's see. Same stuff as usual. All right. Futaba is downstairs, man. Now I got to work hey. on the other ones right now. How are the Phantom Thieves doing? Sounds like they had another success, huh? That's cool. And the war is still going on. It's probably because they think I'm weak. If only I was as strong as the Phantom Thieves. Hey, kid. You may be small, but you played a great game. What? what? So being big is better? Ha, my bad. I didn't mean it like that. I just thought we should be friends, since we're both gamers. Name's Takakuma. I make a living from gaming, more or less. Ever heard of me? Huh? Takakuma? The pro gamer? Yeah, you're that guy from all those videos online. And you're the one they call the king, right? I've always wanted to play with you. But I don't know if it's a good idea. I mean, if I beat you, your rank will definitely drop. And I don't need people bashing me for bullying a kid. You, you just called me weak! That's it, we're playing. I won't lose. As expected of the king. Okay, let's get this started. Right. I'm gonna win. I have to. How? The king is getting destroyed. That's Takakuma, isn't it? He's so awesome. I missed? The king lost. That doesn't count. Let's play again. You got it. Wow, that's ten losses in a row. The king got slaughtered. <laughs> that's hilarious. One more... One more game. No matter how many times we play, the end result will be the same. You should probably stop for your sake. Shut up! You, you cheated, didn't you? Uh, let's see. Yeah, you tell him. Right? There's no way I could have lost. Man, I guess the king is just a little kid after all. Looks like I overstated your ability. I feel bad for beating you again. So, I'm gonna go. Make sure you practice for the next time we play. Damn it! You gotta be kidding me! 
Uh, get your revenge. I will. I'm the one who's going to win in the end. If I lose, it's all over for me. I'm going to beat him next time for sure. This ain't over. The strongest always win in the end. Just like the Phantom Thieves. Watch. I'll win for sure next time. I'm not a loser. You'll see. Shinya is even more motivated than ever before. Alright. And eh, nothing specifically helpful here. Alright. Crap. It's late. I gotta go. Man, that Takuma, uh, Takakuma, though. Telling me to practice for next time? Grown up shouldn't spend so much time playing video games. Aww. You son of a bitch! All right. Bye. Today tired me out. I'll see you later. Did Wander take out the cheater? Or did he not go back in yet? Nope, I haven't gone back in yet. At some point. Adults shouldn't play so many video games. Fucking goddamn taking a piss out of me. I don't know, whatever. Tomorrow's the date of the arraignment with your... Uh, arrangement with your fiancé. I'll be okay, though. The state my father is in has put that on hold for the time being. Woo! We accomplished one, one of our goals. That doesn't mean my marriage has been called off, though. My father agreed to do so in that other world, but I'm not so sure now, given his current condition. Hmm. So that, too, will be on hold until the change of heart. Well, sounds... Like, uh, sounds to me like we're totally in the clear. Yes, and it's all thanks to you guys. Everything should work out well if Okumura, Okumura has the change of heart. Assuming it happens like it always does, we should be seeing some results soon. Oh, the foreshadowing is actually painful. Okay, so we can rank up Sojiro. We can rank up Hifumi. Uh, well, we should go Hifumi. I don't... I don't know when we're going uh, back to mementos, but we got to get it uh, done. Good evening. <sighs> okay. Let's decline for a second. I think I missed some dialogue there. Um. <sighs> oh. No, nothing major. Okay. What? Actually, Before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mother told me that I should lose my upcoming exhibition match against the pro. That's bad. Uh, what do you mean? It's a strategy she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women, and as a result get me more female fans. Then when I make a comeback, I'll be a symbol for a strong woman everywhere. That way I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become famous. That won't work. I wish I could agree, but I feel my mother may be right. People do love a good comeback, comeback story. Coming from the TV industry, my mother does have a great insight for entertainment. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but what made me sad was... I realize my mother doesn't see me as a shogi player. She said that there's no need for me to be putting so much time and effort into shogi. And that terrible. once I become famous, I can quit shogi and make money from my looks. The only reason she continues to support my shogi career is so she can profit off of me like an idol. Or as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match, as long as I build my reputation and make money. To my mother, shogi is just a vehicle to make me famous. However, However, losing on purpose is wrong. Even if it helped me to become famous and ease my parents' burden, I don't want to turn my back on Shogi, a game that both my father and I love. Uh, let's make her reconsider. <sighs> if only she was that reasonable. She's the type of woman who never changes her mind. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dream of becoming a celebrity. Through me. I highly doubt she would ever reconsider. Tell me her name. Whose name? My mother's? It's Mitsuyo. Mitsuyo Togo. Um. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? I need to do something about the target for Hifumi. I thought we were going after somebody else. Oh well, doesn't matter. 
Winning against a pro as a woman should get you that celebrity. Yeah, winning against a pro as a uh, as a shogi player should probably get you enough uh, enough fame. Oh well. <laughs>